Hello, this is Godly from Tolerated Cinematics and today I will be showing you how to create a dubstep style uh, wallpaper in Cinema 4D. So, um, I had these requests by some people, so what we're going to create is something like this and what the hell is doing this over here. Okay, um, so what we're going to create is something like this, but um, this was uh, made really quick. So, you can judge, uh, judge it now um, because I just took like 10 minutes for this just to show a preview in the beginning of my tutorial so yeah let's get started go to file new um, okay file new and go to your text tool over here drag and take the text and click on the text go to object dip step and caps something like this and then we're gonna click on the third mouse go on the front view and make it editable by so click on the text and press C on the keyboard or click on this icon over here and then choose your selection tool that's this one over here drag over your so select your text again and before I forgot something also select this option over here so with this you will be able to select and, and rechange all the um, keys over here so click on the spline and select this and uh, these two U's on the top of the and um, on the U so and drag it way up okay something like that and then we're gonna do the same thing for the T and drag this down and press third mouse on the keyboard M on the mouse again and third mouse over here click on the spline rotation tool and hold shift and choose this option again hold shift to create a perfect rotation and bring it up a little or first of all I'm gonna wait uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use a fracture object so just use a fracture object and get the spline into the extrude nerves and why did I say fracture object I was in my mind with something else I meant extrude nerves of course so just drag the spline into the extrude nerves and get this a little bit up something like that and the start will be filled caps like three, uh, radius three, and step uh, steps one. Okay, um, so now we can rotate this 90 degrees by holding shift. Then go to the position tool and drag this up just above the floor, so something like that. Maybe it can be flying a little, something like this. This will be a nice effect on the um, on the shadow. Then we're gonna um, insert a floor, so hold and drag to floor and get us to the bottom. And we're gonna insert a light and another light. This light we're gonna zoom out by scrolling down and get this over here. And the other light we're gonna bring this over here, also far away. Okay, and we're gonna select type Omni and shadows, soft shadow. Okay. And the other light, we're gonna change the intensity to like 50% of 45. Uh, okay, something like that. So now we have this. And it already looks pretty cool. Uh, first of all, we're gonna choose our uh, rendering settings so we can see a nice preview already. So this will be uh, width, will be um, my screen resolution. So it will be different for every one of us. So for me, it will be this and then go to um, anti-alias um, best and still image okay everything is fine you can just save it uh, over here and okay save it gpeg okay and the other settings we will add later because else it will take too much time to render it out in our preview mode so okay so if we render it out it doesn't take that much over here okay so now what we're gonna do is create a new material so go to file new and double click on the material go to texture gradient click on the gradient um, and just double click on the colors and get a nice blue color so something like that and maybe a specular bring this way up Okay, and a reflection. Texture Fresnel. Bring this down a little. Um, okay. 
drop this onto your text. So now we have something like this. A nice reflection. Uh, so now we can uh, create a uh, reflection or maybe we can uh, create a new material for the floor. Create new, new material. I don't know if you want these squares. If you don't want, it, uh, want the squares, just don't use any gradient. So uh, go to color. I will use a gradient. And we'll go to gradient by clicking on it and get it to I don't know maybe we'll use this okay and um, so the white one we'll leave it just like that click on the black one and choose a light gray color and um, maybe also a nice specular okay and a reflection of course and um, click on the uh, reflection and just and the Fresnel and just bring the black one to the middle so you won't see the reflection um, totally so maybe a little less mm, okay so just uh, drop this onto the floor and we will have something like that uh, I will change it to another position because I have made some mistakes over here I guess because it's still black I don't know what I did wrong it's a kind of bug Fresnel, let's take Fresnel. Okay, a light gray color. Um, okay, so now we have something like this, and it looks pretty cool. Um, so now we can add a sphere to fill up the uh, gaps over here, the empty spots. So and um, just insert a sphere, and get your radius to like 35 or something small, and oh, get the sphere up and go to um, a new well we'll create a new material first so new material double click on it specular way up again reflection fresnel core will be gradient okay let's create something cool get this something like that and double click on the white one also create it black and create two others and get them close to the original color over there and just change them to blue. Oh, wrong one. Okay. So close this and drop it onto the sphere. Now rotate the sphere a little so you can see the reflection a little and go to MoGraph and Cloner Object. Now drop the sphere onto the cloner object and we'll go to uh, the cloner object options and make this count like 10 and get these things up so 200, 200, 200 okay um, maybe less than 200 because you can see him And get the uh, mode to create. And of course, over there it's too much. So 500. Okay, my bad. Okay, so now we can just uh, drag it over here with the position tool and go to the mode graph again and use the um, where is it? Random effector. So now go to the cloner object and go to the effectors and it's checked so okay make sure it's uh, the random effector is checked on so you can deselect it and select it now go to the cloner effector and here we can change the positions to a random spot something like that and we'll leave this just the original one I guess or make sure you don't have any balls in the uh, in the floor okay maybe um, something like that okay so this looks pretty cool already but make sure you can see the text so we'll have to play a little with the settings okay so something like this but this one is kind of annoying so maybe rotate all of them Okay, so here this one looks pretty cool. Ok, 
okay and now what we can do is uh, create some other ones oh, first we're gonna uh, change the rotation uh, random effector so you can see some nice colors going on the screen uh, okay so this one will do okay so now just go to the cloner object and copy it and paste it above and you can change the color and um, the name so double click on it and make this one blue and change this to green and create another green uh, material so hold control and drag the blue one over here double click on it go to color and gradient change the gradient color to green okay something like that okay so just drop this one onto the green sphere over here over here and just position it on a different way um, like that and as you can see you'll have blue ones and green ones so you can just mess around a little with the settings take your time for this wallpaper and to create perfect wallpaper and after that you can just well first of all I will choose my position again okay and then render it out so go back to the rendering settings over here and choose the effect global illumination and here we're gonna get this to high and also high detail uh, also heavy um, okay so this is for the lightning effects I don't know if we're gonna choose another one um, maybe lens effect okay and close this and render it out so just click on this and wait till it's rendered and it will come up in the file that you saved it to um, that you um, ent entered in the beginning of the tutorial so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial please hit the like button um, and, be and be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep updated with my latest videos um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching goodbye